So the blank electrolytic cell is here. You can find it in the link in the description. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to get to this. And you can just reset it and have a practice with it. So as I said in the previous video, the only thing you need to know is reduction occurs at the cathode. So uh, you can go ahead and label that one reduction. And then you just have to work out which one uh, is the most reactive. And so the re in, if this is in the form of the electrode potential table, this will be the most positive one and this will be the other one will have to be reversed. And so this one will be gaining the electrons and be a reduction. This one's losing the electrons and is oxidation. So typically it is the metal here and this is a non-metal here. And often this one is forming a gas and coming off as bubbles, uh, but you just can't tell. Uh, every situation is different uh, for this particular one it looks like that one's forming a solid metal. So for electroplating, you could put a spoon there or something and it could be plating that with gold. And so the cathode is where you put the thing that wants to be electroplated. Now, because this is a force, this is not natural and you're using a battery to force electrons through. So this side will be the positive and this side will be the negative. So conventional current is actually the opposite, but we're in chemistry here. So we know where, what's actually going on. We're having the electrons getting uh, attracted to here the, to the battery. So ironically, this here is actually a galvanic cell in this situation. It doesn't have to be. The electricity could be formed some other way, but typically this is a, um, this well, this particular one is, is actually some cells. So this is actually the previous one. And so the chemical reactions are actually driving uh, the other chemical, the natural chemical reactions here, if this is actually a battery, is actually driving the chemical reactions in this one, which is quite interesting. So the electrons are attracted here because that's positive, and then they're repelled here, so that's negative. So the electrons are traveling in this direction, and that is forcing this to be negative, and it's taking electrons here, so the anode is positive. So that's how you know which electrode is which and how to label them. And so because this one is taking up the electrons, Therefore, this reaction occurs that so the electrons go up here and put because the electrons are coming down, they're coming down here and they're joining up with this here. And so you can put in solution, you put the negative anions and the positive cations in solution and you have finished correctly labeling your electrolytic cell.